My first impression was just, wow, there's a lot here. I mean, you walk in and the walls are just filled with, you know, these stories and these histories. And it was a lot to take in at first because, you know, as a student here, we're not told these histories. I've even taken, like, classes about the history of the university and, and it didn't touch anywhere near you know this amount of content so I mean you could get lost in here for hours upon hours like there is just so much to take in and you know that that's a little unsettling when you first walk in because you're like how could you know this place that I call home and where I study how can you know there be this much history that you know we have to come to terms with and so I, I think it's you know it's hard to take in at first when you see all of this all of this content. Ruby Bridges and a lot of other people who have Based, so much discrimination and hate and it's so it's, it was literally in their face people telling them you can't you are not welcome here because of our skin color and so for for these first people to be here at a university for higher education it's very monumental and it's very monumental. we are we're supposed, I feel like we're supposed to learn about this history because it makes us better people and it's supposed to help us like improve in society. So I feel like this is a good starting point for this university towards um, making change. I remember freshman year, I kind of avoided Bascom Hill, but I feel like now knowing this history more into sophomore year, I completely avoid Bascom Hill. Um, I can't physically walk on there knowing that people died, especially with the way that this university was built and seeing the land seal, that the motto, I think it was to just eliminate this Native American barbarism and to see that as the great seal and labeled as something that they should be proud of, it's very heavy. As a history student, I feel like, you know, I often seek out histories because I just love to learn about it. Um, and I think that's really what the sifting gets after is, you know, going after these histories and, you know, digging through them to find the stuff that isn't told. Um, and you know, reckoning comes with you know confronting these histories. They might make us uncomfortable. They might make us feel sad about you know the things that have happened in the place that we lived. But it's so important to really take that in and you know let that influence who you are on this campus, how you interact with um, you know the people around you. Sifting and reckoning. I feel like it literally means sifting through our history through all of our history and kind of using that history to tell us what do we do now from there. You know, coming to this exhibit doesn't feel like a history class where you're sitting there getting lectured at. It's, it's interactive and it feels like, you know, you can really get immersed in this. So even if you're not somebody who's going after these histories and sifting through archives and all of that, this is a really great way to just get immersed in the history of the place that you live in.